Okay. Hi, guys. So this is like, I think, the first video I am doing on Militaria. Um, so I collect um, helmets and hats and equipment and things like that, mostly Cold War era. And here are some helmets that I recently got um, when my boyfriend and I went out to pick up some vintage rifles that he collects. Um, so here are some of the helmets that I recently got um, for my collection, and I'll kind of go over them. They're sitting on the bed, and um, the first one here is the U.S. Pasket helmet, um, which when I was in the Army, I wore for quite some time. Um, it's a good helmet. This is not the one I had issued to me, but it's the same helmet. And it's brand new. It's new old stock. Um, and you can see the liner suspension in it. It's um, brand new. And it is a size small, because I wear a size small. And um, made out of Kevlar which is um, really good ballistically for a U.S. helmet. That's how the interior looks. It's got this little um, spongy donut thingamabobber, and um, it's got the Velcro um, later style helmet band. And, yeah, um, it's pretty cool. And here's how... It looks um, on the other side. You know, I don't have a cover on it yet, but I'll eventually get um, put a woodland cover that I ordered off of eBay on it. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. I like it. And the next one is, this is Cold War era Hungarian, so this is uh, East Bloc, because I collect a lot of East Bloc stuff, and uh, East German, and anything East Bloc, Cold War, Russian, and things like that. This is Hungarian, so this is a Hungarian M70 helmet, there's a little bit of glare here, but, on the camera, but, um, it's pretty cool helmet. It's uh, um, basically modeled after the Soviet World War II helmet. And uh, yeah, it's I got a good deal on this. Um, I think I paid like 35 bucks for it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. You can see the liner suspension. Um, uh, the lighting in here is terrible. It keeps flickering, but bear with me. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, got a leather liner suspension with foam padding, um, and I know these things are sized, just like the, the pads get, uh, are sized, so I'm not sure what size this helmet is, but it's probably a size medium, and it's got a leather chin strap, all the leather is really supple and really in good shape. And, yeah, so this is the Hungarian M70 helmet. The other one that I recently purchased is a Bulgarian, um, Bulgarian M51. And you can see the size in there and the stamping, and it's in relatively good shape. It's got a, uh, some kind of, like... I don't know, nine or ten fingered liner in there, similar to the German style helmet. But And a lot of people actually confuse these for an Italian uh, M33 because they're kind of based off of it, but it's not. It's a Bulgarian M51, and um, it's got the little pointed uh, front area, and it's got... Um, one, two, and then three of the little rivet holes. That's my boyfriend's clock ticking, which isn't wound too tight. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. It's a little darker 
and the color uh, the color green and there's some glare here on my camera but it's pretty cool so it's a Bulgarian M50 helmet Cold War era um, so yeah so I got the Bulgarian the Hungarian and the US Pasket and those are the three that I recently picked up so, and I got some daggers and bayonets that I'll do a video on uh, here shortly. I got some really cool um, bayonets, Cold War bayonets, and, and a um, Bulgarian dagger that's pretty cool. So that's that's that. I hope you enjoy the video with um, I like I say I collect helmets and headgear and Cold War era stuff. So if you're a collector in that or interested in that, it's a pretty cool hobby. Okay. Thanks for watching.